Oh, hey, I'm going to be in San Antonio, Texas from the 19th to the 25th. So for the next week, I have pre-recorded videos. They're all going to be short, and they're all going to be for the hard mode dungeons that are out in North America. These teams obviously will work in any of the lower dungeons as well. These will be completely free to play teams. Today's video will be about hard mode wind arachne. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go baby. All right, so we got Wind of Ragni hard level one. Always start out with element advantage for your summoner, which in this case, it's fire. If you really wanna change it inside, you can, but you're gonna be doing the most damage as that summoner with the stronger element. You need a fire warrior and you cannot use wind monsters. Depending on your summoner, the team composition changes. You're always gonna want at least two damage dealers, a support with either shield or invincibility, a defense break, and if you can get an attack buff in there, do that. You need a fire warrior and no wind monsters. Now typically I would say fire frank bulldozer. But the problem with that is if you bring fire orbia or any other summoner, this limits what you can bring in defense, break, supports, whatever. There's natural five star units that you can bring instead of bulldozer, but this is free to play. So I don't suggest actually using fire frank here. Fire harpy lukasha. She can stack up defense break to 10 very quickly. Next, a free monster story fire raven. That's your second damage dealer. And then you got Fire Harpu Colleen. She's gonna bring heals and attack buff. Other options instead of Fire Harpu. If you consider Bass at a free to play monster, you can bring her for the shielding attack buff. You may have started the game late and don't have Bastet. In that case, then I would highly recommend to bring Shushu. Shushu will remove all of the damage over times and keep your team up alive. For Kina, I would bring Bulldozer, Karambit, and Helia. Because Kina will bring the attack buff and the invincibility and the heals. Bulldozer is better on Soul Link using his third skill and Helia can do her thing. And then there's Cleef who's always the problem child. For Cleef, I would bring in Lukasha, Karambin, and Chushu. Now there's obviously five star units that you can bring in the sub in for these. The Sari and Bastet. We got Fire Mummy as an alternate warrior. Fire Sky Dancer, really good here. Defense, break, attack buff, and heals. Brandia, obviously a beast, but these are the true free to play teams you can use for Wind Arachne Hard Level 1. You want to set your soul link with Lukasha to only the first skill so that she uses her defense break. And this will be on auto, but I highly recommend you do these expeditions manually because it's only like two entries. So here you go, she's just applying defense break with Lukasha, my Orbia, and Fire Raven and doing all the damage. Colleen is keeping my team alive with attack buff and everything like that. It's all going well so far. We all have the stronger element. We take less damage. And now Wind Rackney is dead. And that's it for today's video. I got the other dungeons coming soon. I'm going to spread out these dungeons through the days that I'm gone. If you like all my videos and content, sub, like, ding, ding, bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.